I have found the greatest build in NBA 2K23. Now, actually, I'm going to show you guys two builds in this video. One of them is going to be a guard build, and the other one is going to be a big man build. And they are, in my opinion, the two best builds in the game as of right now. I've kind of been the builder nonstop since the game has even come out, and I continually just find better and better builds. Now, this build is going to be a next-gen build, but it will also work for current gen. If you're on current gen and you want to make one of these builds, basically copy down the exact same position, exact same body settings, and exact same attributes I have, and you'll get basically the same build you might get a few less badges since current gen has a different badge system but you will get the exact same build so that's why this build is going to work for both current and next gen but without further ado let's start with the point guard build so for this first build i decided to make the closest thing to the glitched six foot three build that i had last year if you guys do remember that build just nobody was able to guard it it was absolutely unstoppable so i wanted to make that build but in 2k23 you guys see for the body settings i went with six foot three at 213 pounds and six foot nine for the wingspan Last year, almost always went six foot three and six foot nine. Usually, I wouldn't go 213 pounds for the weight last year, but this is a completely different game. You do want to go a bit higher for the weight this year. Starting things off with finishing, this is absolutely crazy. You guys can tell you're going to be able to get the elite contact dunk package as well as gold posterizer and a 17 total finishing badges. Definitely, 17 is very, very important because it allows you to get two gold tier three badges. If you have even just 16 instead of 17, you're only going to be able to get two silver badges and instead of two gold badges this finishing is very very similar to the finishing i had last year on my six foot three build for shooting this is actually better than what i had last year you're getting 24 total shooting badges as well as a 92 three-point rating and a gold limitless range so, i mean yeah you're just not missing on this build like this is as good as some pure sharps i've seen don't really know why you'd make a pure sharp with a 92 three-pointer, but we move. For playmaking for a point guard build, this isn't really as good as I would want it to be. However, I do believe it's more than good enough for a point guard build. I'm going to break this down. First for pass hack, I only have this at a 62. This is definitely not a pro-am or rec center build. This is definitely a park build, which is why my pass accuracy isn't really super, super high. I only have it at a 62. For park, that's more than good enough, and you can also use this in pro-am. I definitely have seen a few comp pro-am guards use only a 70 pass accuracy. For ball handle, have this at a 92. Out of 92, you're able to unlock every single drill move in this game, which I believe is very, very important for your point guard. And then I have a 79 speed with ball. Now, I know a lot of people are going to go into the comment section talking about how I only have a 79. First off, if you want a higher speed with ball, just drop down your ball handling a little bit and then get higher speed with ball. But I believe a lot of people just don't actually understand what speed with ball does. Speed with ball is used the same way downhill is used, if you remember that badge from last year. Basically, the way it works is if you're running down court for an extended period of time you're going to be faster if you have higher speed with ball and while since you are a point guard and you're going to be running down court with the ball from time to time speed with ball is important when you're actually in the half court setting speed with ball doesn't really matter all that much ball handling is what makes your dribble moves actually faster like your crossover will be faster if you have higher ball handling and stuff like that and the acceleration is what helps you speed boost faster so basically if you want to dribble in the half court you basically only need ball handle and acceleration speed with ball is somewhat helpful because if you have like a zero speed with ball or like a 50 speed with ball or something and then you like speed boost to some direction you might get a really fast speed boost at the start but due to the fact that you have a 50 speed with ball you're gonna end up slowing down but this build doesn't have a 50 speed with ball it's basically an 80 and plus if you buy dribbling boost which i think might be a thing you're gonna get an 84 which is definitely more than good enough for this build for defense this is honestly way better than i expected it to be you're getting silver interceptor and silver clamps as well as 52 block which isn't really that bad and will help a ton for interior defense so yeah on the twos or something this build will be able to hold its own and then for the physicals you guys can see them right here the reason why my speed is lower than my acceleration is because speed helps you move around faster off ball which really isn't that important for a point guard build while acceleration helps you speed boost faster with the ball which is very important for a point guard build at least how the game is played right now your first step is very very important whether that be speed boosting in different directions on offense or trying to change directions on defense for takes, I went with first limitless and second finishing moves. There's honestly a lot of takeovers this build gets. I believe limitless range is the best takeover. And then due to the fact that you get elite contact dunks and gold posterizer, finishing moves seems like a pretty fitting takeover as well. And you guys can see I built a three-point shot creator. But let me remind you guys, this is a three-point shot creator with gold posterizer and elite contacts, as well as pretty good defense. Now, moving on to the big man build. Now, for this big man build, I wanted to make a build similar to my glitched a 6'9 build from NBA 2K22. 
And this is basically the closest you're gonna get. Now for the position, I went with small forward. Honestly, most likely it's probably gonna be better for power forward, but you do have to be small forward for the position. And then when it comes to like playing park or something, most likely this is also going to be a big man build rather than like a wing build. For the body settings, we're going with six foot nine. For the weight, we're going with 194. And for the wingspan, we're going with max. Max wingspan is very, very helpful because you guys can see it gives you a 99 block and a 99 defensive rebound, which gives us Hall of Fame anchor and gold rebound chaser. Definitely the defense on this build is going to be elite. For finishing, you guys can see this is pretty good. 70 total badges is definitely quite good. And as well, you will be able to get contact dunks on this build. I can't really say you're going to be dunking on everyone because you won't be, but you will get the occasional contact dunk. And if you're setting screens and rolling to the basket, as long as you're not being an absolute idiot, you will be able to not only catch lobs, but you also won't get blocked that often. For shooting, you guys see I'm also getting 17 badges again. This build can definitely green very consistently if you do know your jump shot. But if you're not that great at shooting, maybe avoid this build. For playmaking, this is kind of like a point forward build. You're getting 80 ball handle, which is basically the same thing as pro dribble moves. Now, if you wanted to, you can go with a 75 speed with ball to unlock some dribbling style animations. But in my opinion, dribbling style isn't super, super important so i'm just going with the 74 some people will not be able to dribble on this build but since i know how to dribble with a low ball handling i believe i'm gonna be chilling and then on to defensive slash rebounding this is crazy the two main attributes you have to look at is 99 block and 93 defensive rebound which as i already said gives you hall of fame anchor and a gold rebound chaser what i like about this build is that it's an elite level rim protector without being too slow you're like you're able to move around very very easily be very very fast on the defensive end well at the same time Time being able to stuff everyone's shots. I absolutely love big man builds like this because your rim protection is going to be very, very good. While at the same time, if you get switched onto a guard, you can hold your own. And then you guys can see the physicals right here. For the takeovers, I decided to go with first stuff box and second extreme clamps. Obviously, we're going with stuff box. We already have a 99 box, so why not just double up on it? And I went with extreme clamps for the secondary takeover. I believe this is a very, very good takeover, and it's kind of fitting for this build. I did also run this as my primary takeover last. And as you can see, I built an inside out score. What? How is this an inside out score? Wait, 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 what? I have 26 defensive slash rebounding badges. Okay, this is actually the worst build name i've seen so far this year like what hello like let, let me just remind you what my badge count was i had 17 17 15 and then 26 in the defensive category how's this an inside out score i'm, I'm just confused bro honestly 2k kind of has a mind of its own when it comes to these build names but if you did enjoy this video please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see some more 2k23 content there's three videos on the screen right now as well i do have a tiktok and a second channel if you guys want to see like more concise short version content then go check out those videos with that being said i'm out peace